HQ fam, we are now back for another video. So today we will be tackling on how you will customize your Streamlabs mobile widget for your Streamlabs mobile. So there are many viewers who are requesting this video. They wanted to personalize uh, their widgets and information for Streamlabs. So first, of course, is you need to access streamlabs.com and log in your account so that you will see it what I'm seeing which is the dashboard so before we begin I wanted to give you a disclaimer that if you will be doing this if you will be customizing your widgets and notifications I would highly suggest that you do it on a computer or a laptop if you have one uh, just to make sure that you can avoid some issues when changing animations like animated GIF and that is reflecting when that you're using for your alert box but if you will gonna be changing or customizing your alerts by changing the font the font size the sounds of the alerts then i think you can do it through your mobile phone just make sure that the browser that you will be using on your mobile phone support desktop view so that you will see what i'm seeing now all right so let's begin so first we will be tackling the most used feature of uh, streamlabs as a whole so for that this is the alert box all right so as you will know we are currently using the alert box version 2 that's what i will suggest just to make sure that we will be on the same page so when you first log in your account you will only see this bar so you will not see this because this one that's the one that i added or i customized so what you will do for you to add that is you just need to click on add alert variation uh, name the alert let's say supporter all right supporter and then for event types you need to click like facebook support so as you will see currently it only shows a specific alert so it really depends on what you are using so currently i only have my facebook link on this account so that is why it's mainly reflecting facebook notification but if you're using twitch or youtube then you should be able to see it here as well all right but mainly i use streamlabs home um, for facebook gaming streams okay so once you have the specific alert added on the list will show up like this one so how would you customize it is you need to click on the specific alerts so as you can see here on my end i don't change this i set it as default so for appearance i usually use side you can either use the banner or the above so for my image i have this images i scoured google so if you wanted to personalize your notification you can search through google or create your own gif so it's either you can like record a video then find a video editor which can convert it to gif and stuff so it all depends to you so streamlabs will be giving you one gig worth of storage that you can use like uploading a specific gif sounds personal sounds that you wanted okay so or you can also use the stock or the default streamlab animations or gif so it really all depends to you guys so but for me i have it um i just start google and have that specific uh gif so you can customize the sound based on what you prefer you can again upload a sound that you prefer or you can use the default that is given or provided by stream so for sound volume you can adjust it based on how loud you want it your notification sound um shows up or you can hear can be here on your stream 50 percent is already good specifically for stream labs mobile so i suggest that you uh don't change it as well and set it to default animation either fade in fade out really depends on you new so this is a default i didn't change anything on that so for font i have it on default as well for font size i have it on 26 this is the suggested size 
is specifically if you're using Streamlabs mobile alerts, okay? Because using 30 or higher uh, may, might make your alerts not readable because it's very big. Or if you like set it up on a smaller size, then it can be like very small. So I have it on 26. That is the uh, best font size I have uh, used. I have experimented so uh, for of course uh, viewing purposes I have my screen casted as well here you go so you can see this is the one plus 60 phone that I'm using so for testing purposes I'll be showing to you the test I'll be sending a test you should see here there you go right so that's how it works so for customizing the message all you just need to do is from general click on the Facebook share then it should show up the message template so you can uh, specifically change it based on the way you want it or you can use the custom code editor which I don't really think or not really that good for that specific um, things yet so same goes with the like and other notification to customize the image the sound and then um, the font size along with the custom message so that's the main thing that you would need to do. So of course, just to move, let you see that it do work. So under like, send test. See, so different, um, different animation. Oh yeah. So you see here, that's the same thing that should show up here as well. All right. So generally, if you don't have your phone with you or your Streamlabs open, then this specific green. Um, view should show you the specific thing or the specific animation that should show up once you have the alerts box set up. All right, send. There you go. So I think that's it for the alert box. We will now go to other widgets uh, that is being used. So of course, event list is the second one that being used for Streamlabs Mobile. This is the one that I specifically use. There are times that I only use this and I don't use the alert box uh, for the main purpose that I can showcase specific uh, viewers names and the interaction that they have. So if for example they like or share my page like that or share my stream so on and so forth. So uh, let me just go ahead and show to you again my cast just to show you something so just minimize that so as you can see here is my event list all right so if for example i change it uh let me just go ahead and copy this let's change the color so that you'll be able to see all right so let's see if i want it pink or violet let's see there you go. all right so if i save that then it should reflect as well as you see it's already gone and then it should show the updated one the violet okay so that's how straightforward it is so of course you need to specifically change the theme all right so you will see there you go carbon i have it on honeycomb or simpler so you can enable or disable any events that you would like so you can disable donations or any or like supporters merch it really depends to you but i have it on uh, enabled so that everything that's going on on my page is reflecting uh, for max events I have it on five you can um, adjust it based on uh, how many you want it uh, to show on your screen but since Streamlabs Mobile have a small screen then I have it on five that's the max that I have uh, for font size I suggest to make it smaller so as you remember on our alert box we have it at uh, 26 but for event list I have it on 23 all right uh, for the sole purpose that um, I wanted to make sure that those specific viewers that have longer name will show their or the event list will show their full name so of course uh, just to shout out or to promote as well those specific persons who are supporting your stream all right so i have it on 23 for animation that is a default one 
and then I just save the settings and that's it then your event list is ready to go all right so next as you can see it's already updated so next is the last one that we'll be tackling the chat box so for chat box I only use it if I'm using um, if for example I'm shout casting like that it really depends on what is the purpose that you wanted to show it chat box is kind of um, a bit of a nuisance for me because it takes a lot of space and then it might cover you um, the specific game that you're playing that you're showcasing to the viewer so I don't usually use that but you can customize it based on the way you want it so you could for example do it on box um, old school uh, chunky it really depends I have it on Twitch because it's much simpler and cleaner so of course you can show the moderator and subscriber badges um, font size I have it on 26 the default one that I'm using 26 and below and then you just need to save settings and also just to add up I forgot for the alert box for those who wanted um, you can also enable text-to-speech for the star senders so you can just click on enable how many uh, minutes it is to read and then the volume for it all right so that of course if for example you're focused on um, playing and you were not able to like um, be able to read the messages for the of those who send stars as you as you will see for Facebook gaming there are uh, viewers who leave a message along with the stars so uh, if you were, have many viewers and many star senders then I suggest that you turn this on just to make sure that of course their message if in case you miss it will be uh, read by the AI the text to speech program helps you. but of course you can always go back after your game and back read the comments of course all right so um lastly i just wanted to uh tackle the last part of this um tutorial is regarding for those viewers who's reaching out to me who's messaging me or commenting on our tutorials where their stream labs mobile notification or alert box not working so for that you need to make sure that you always check this whenever you go live or you're currently live okay so once you log in on your streamlabs dashboard you need to scroll down and under account you'll be able to see their facebook pages okay under facebook pages you need to make sure that your main page or your streaming page is the one um set up or activated or currently save as preferences specifically for those uh, persons or um, viewers that have many persons for those who have many pages if you're for example admin of multiple pages then you might want to check this every time you go live okay because there are I think I'm not sure if it's a bug with Facebook or with Streamlabs but it automatically changed it to the last specific page that you access all right so make sure that you, you check this and then click your page and then save it as preferences and then your alert box and notification should be good to go once that is a complete all right so i think that's it for today guys so uh if you find this helpful then don't forget to leave a like a comment down below if you have questions or notification if you haven't subscribed yet then you better subscribe now uh, we have many tutorials to come as well and of course if for example you have uh, a request tutorial request or something that is that i can do then definitely i'll try my best to do it as well so don't forget to subscribe like and share our page so that we hit 1k as well so that's it for me harry of harris hq now signing out peace